Okay, everyone. So here in this video, I'm gonna show you the comparison of two One Piece game. It is One Piece World Seeker and One Piece Odyssey. So we just gonna start from One Piece World Seeker here. One Piece World Seeker released back then on. 2019 years or 2019 and it's um action adventure games and yeah it's like open world game too so we're gonna show you we're gonna show you all the gameplay here and yes this is the beginning of the story on one piece world seeker and see it here guys open world we can travel and talk to people around us and yeah you can see it here talking to everyone around us and yeah let's see here open war and yeah the graphic seems cool and we can walk around wherever we wanna go but yeah I doubt we can go to the ocean of course <laughs> that's it and yeah the graphic seems awesome everyone and now here is a bit clip on the town and yes Luffy can become like a spiderman or something climbing a building like this so yeah becoming like a spiderman climbing building and everything that's luffy here in the world seeker we can wandering the town climbing the building and yes it's pretty much here and yeah it's pretty much a far stretching arm we can do over here and let's see and now this is the fighting fighting system on one piece world seeker bell system yes so we can move freely here we can move freely here and later in one piece odyssey is a turn base so it's kind of different so we're showing you all first the one piece world seeker bell system we can move freely there and yeah this time we're using Zoro. We're using Roronoa Zoro. This is how Zoro fight against the enemy. So it's not a turn based system unlike One Piece Odyssey, but yeah, you guys can see it here. I'm just doing a brief showcase, okay, everyone. Just doing a brief showcase and yeah, the graphic, the open world is awesome. You guys can see it here while we're seeing Zoro. And here is One Piece Odyssey. And yeah, you guys can already see the difference, the graphic difference. Okay, One Piece Odyssey released in 2023 20, years. Role playing video games. And yes, it's open world too. We're gonna show you all later. And here is some cutscene from the game. They're doing some conversation. Yeah, we can see, of course, the comparison between the graphic from One Piece, World Secret, and Odyssey. And here is how we wandering the island with Luffy. And here in this game, we can freely use any straw hat parts um, from Luffy onto Robin. Yeah, we can use Foranki and Brook wandering the town, but we can use Luffy, Zoro, Nami, Usopp, Sanji, Chopper, and Robin. But of course, in the beginning, we can only use Luffy here and yeah you guys can see the graphic here is of course it's better than one piece world seeker everyone but yeah as you guys know too one piece world seeker release in 
2019 and this RSA release in 2023 there is of course the difference and later I gotta show you the bell system of One Piece RSA guys so here yeah we become like Spider-Man 2 and wandering around here in One Piece Odyssey this is Water 7 stage if I'm correct inside the tunnel or something we call and yeah the graph is really smooth here One Piece Odyssey we can grab building and everything like also same like one piece world seeker and yes this is using zoro we are using zoro wandering the town getting some item we can also talk to the townspeople seem like one piece world seeker it's just the graphics i guess the graphic is more better on one piece odyssey well, this is a comparison video, right? You guys can do your um, opinion, tell your opinion. And here it is. Once again, now the battle system. Okay, so as I said before in One Piece, I would say the battle system is turn-based system. So you guys can see here, Luffy using Gomu Gomu no Gatoling. And then the enemy will attack after that. Yeah, turn base. Like um, Pokemon game. Yeah, there's many Pokemon game, but I guess everyone know the main Pokemon game like Pokemon Fire Red or Emerald or Diamond and Pearl and everything. Turn base system. The enemy attack after us. But yeah, this one is kind of like strategic turn base. Everyone see this Sanji just move. Okay, so there is some skill that can be used within a long range and this is Zoro using normal attack to slice things worse, so it's actually really strategic battle system here, not only turn base but there is also a strategy where we can like, you know, Usopp, right? He's much more long range attacking and then a close combat like Luffy but Luffy also have skill that can attack from far like Zoro too they sometimes has a long range skill and sometimes has a close range skill so that's pretty much the difference